you know, loving footy and um, you just want to play at the highest level. And um, at that time, uh, it was the SNFL. Hawking, good back at number five. Here's for goal. Put the um, and then to get drafted to uh, Adelaide, being the first side in the AFL from South Australia, it was, you know, it was an honour. Eddie Hawking does this so often, runs around Waters. Good looking kick. It's a goal. To be asked to design the, the uh, 2020 Guernsey, I sort of had a sort of a basic designs around sort of how I wanted the Guernsey to look, and Shane, you know, added his own sort of style, which I liked. You know, even like these little dots coming through, eh? Yeah. Just to outline the wing. It's a massive opportunity for myself, like being an artist. You know, probably one of the biggest opportunities in my artistic career. And obviously, the the painting part's the fun bit for me. But I think the most important part was the story that Eddie wanted to convey and. I really wanted to make sure that it um, represented what he's done for the club and how he embraces the players and um, you know how passionate he is about, about football. The thin lines start here and as they, as they get thicker, the culture gets stronger. The design represents the whole um, playing group of the Adelaide Football Club, but in particular all the Indigenous players that uh, contributed and played for the Adelaide Football Club over the last 30 years. The focus of the uh, design is as you can see, the, the crow um, with its wings out represents me and the hand is, is, is my hand, handprint, uh, which is my respect and my contribution to the football club, uh, being the first Indigenous AFL player at the Adelaide Football Club. It was always fantastic to put on the jumper and run out uh, rep to represent the Adelaide Football Club. But I still have connection with the current playing group. I feel like I'm sort of like a big uncle. Uh, to a lot of like, some of those young Indigenous boys now. He's someone that's helped me through not only my, you know, um, footy footy career, but he's helped me through my, you know, personal life, um, school. So um, it's be pretty special. He's always messaging us and and saying, you know, I'll come down and have a um, have a yarn in the in the cafe, or you know, just to come and have a chat with us and make sure we're going all right. And um, and that's the sort of character Uncle Eddie is. He just you know loves to. Um, connect everyone and, and be that um, support person. He's so friendly and lovable, like he's just like a father figure and he was someone that you could just go and you know like have a yarn with and you didn't necessarily want to talk about footy all the time, you just wanted to see how you were going personally and it means a lot to me being able to wear a guernsey that's made by him. I was very disconnected at a young age and felt like very displaced and um, you know at times felt like I didn't, wasn't sure where I kind of fit in but it's people like Eddie who you know welcomed me up welcomed me with open arms and um, you know really you know encouraged me to pursue art so when I get to collaborate with people like him it's it's always um, you know a really good feeling. Yeah no it was good I like that. Yeah. I'll be very excited I'll be feeling pretty proud of myself um, to see him all running around there with the Guernsey on. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a you know, special night. <laughs>